everybody! Welcome to Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 3. We're going to start with the duple meter song. Go ahead and move with me, please. Bum, 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 sing with me. Duple meter moves in two, moves in two, moves in two. Duple meter moves in two, move in two with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, 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 micro beats. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Echo me, please. Do, to do, day, do, to do. Do, day, do, to do, to day, to do. Do today, do to do today, do. Do to do day, do ta to do. I'm going to sing a song called Dressed in White. <laughs> Would you please make a statue with your body? When I stop singing, would you change your shape? All right, here we go. Bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum. Bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, bum. Ba, 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 this time, would you move in a gentle way in all the space that you can find, but keep your feet glued to the floor. Notice how different this feels than being a statue. I'm going to sing the Siberian Husky. This first time, would you do a mirror dance with me? So you're going to be my mirror. Here we go. This time, would you do an upper body silly dance? to sing festive dance. If you'd like, you can go ahead and join me in singing that. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do. Go ahead and move your arms in a strong way in all of the space below your shoulders. Bum, 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 here I go. Bum, 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 b
but I would like for you to sing them back in a different order. Do, mi, so. So, re, ti. So, ti, re. Mi, so, do. If you want more practice with that, you can look at the pattern CD, look at, you can listen to the pattern CD. I don't think looking at the pattern CD is going to help very much. So you could listen to, we're looking for major tonality. You could do track three. That's going to be just the tonic and dominant patterns on a neutral syllable, so the same on bum. And then if you listen to track seven, they're going to do those patterns on tonal syllables. So try pattern CD track seven, and then after they do each one, you can sing it back in a different order. I'd recommend staying close to wherever it is that you're playing that so that you can pause it. All right, we're gonna move some in triple meter. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Triple now feel as we're moving in three, moving in three, moving in three. Triple now feel as we're moving in three. Move now in triple with me. And chant macro beats on do. Do, do, do. Micro beats. Do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee. I'll chant macro beats. You chant micro beats. Do, do, do. Switch. Do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee. Echo me, please. Do, do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, da, dee. Do, da, dee, do, do, da, dee, do, da, dee. Do, da, dee, do, da, dee, do, do, da, dee. Do da di do da di do da di do. I'm going to sing a song called "There's a Hole in the Bucket." Do so mi do ti do. Go ahead and sing the resting tone with me. Do. Would you go ahead and sway and wave your arms when I stop singing? Freeze and sing. Do, ba 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 Do, ba 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 Do. This time, would you please pretend that you're carrying a heavy bucket of water? I'm going to use two hands. But then feel like the water gradually drips out and it becomes lighter and lighter as you carry it. All right, here we go. Okay, this is heavy. Did you feel your whole body relax as that became lighter and lighter? Oh, so much easier to carry this. I think I could carry it with one finger. Now we're going to sing. We're going to learn the song to sing for this unit, which is English folk song. La, mi, do, la, si, la. Go ahead and do a strong body dance, like you're moving through jello. Imagine what that would feel like. And yum. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, ba. Bum, ba, bum, ba, 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 ba. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, ba. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba. So this song has two parts. Both parts start with the same melodic pattern. So go ahead and wiggle your arms and fingers and then change your movement when you hear the second part of the song. Echo 
of these rhythm patterns, please. This is a super fast triple meter. It goes like this. So what we're going to do instead of do da dee do da dee do da dee do da dee, we're going to go do 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 do. We're going to move like that. So help me move do 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 do. I'm using my arms to help me sway back and forth. Do do echo me please. Do dee do dee do do. Do dee do dee do da dee do. Do dee do dee do. Let's do the first pattern. I'm going to have you echo that first pattern and then I'm going to answer you with a different rhythm pattern from the song. Just listen to my answer. You don't have to do anything, just listen to it. So I'm going to give a pattern to you, you chant it back, and then I'll answer you with something else. Do da dee do, here we go. Do dee do dee do do. Do dee do dee do do. Do dee do dee do da dee do. So that was the first one. Now we're going to do that same thing again, but I'm going to answer you with a different pattern. And I want you to listen to how my answer for the second one is similar to or different from my answer to the first one. So the first answer I gave was do dee do dee do da dee do. Keep that in your head. All right, so echo me and then I'll answer you. Do dee do dee do do. Do dee do dee do do. Do dee do dee do. So how is that similar to or different from my first answer? So my first answer was do dee do dee do da dee do. Second answer was do dee do dee do. So the beginning of both of my answers was the same, but the ending was different. I ended the first one with do da dee do and ended the second one with do, which is an elongation. So echo these tonal patterns, please. La, mi, do, la, si, la. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. On solfege. La, mi. La, mi. Mi, re, do. I'd like you to listen for the first tonal pattern in the song and see where you think it happens. So the first tonal pattern is la, mi, bum, 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 bum. Listen, please. Bum, 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 bum. So this happens two times in the song. Now I'll show you where it happened. Let's see if that's where you heard it. Bum, ba, bum, here we go. La, mi, mi, ba, ba, ba. Bum, ba, bum, ba, 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 ba. La, mi, mi, ba, ba, ba. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba. So those are the two places that that pattern happens. I'd like to sing it again and go ahead and raise your hand whenever you hear this pattern. Mi, re, do, bum, 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 here we go. Bum, 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 bum. Now I'll show you where it was. Bum, bum, mi, re, do, ba, mi, re, do, ba, 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 mi, mi, re, do, ba, 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 ba. And you could have heard it at the end, but it doesn't really stop at do. It goes, mi, re, do, ti, la, all the way to the end. So that pattern happens three times in the song, and the fourth time it just continues all the way down. Go ahead and sing the song with me. Bum, 
Remember that you can listen to this, listen to this song on your CD or on the audio tracks. It's not a CD anymore. The audio tracks that go with this book on track five. So make sure you listen to that and practice that this week. If you're having any trouble singing it, we can work on that at your group class check-in. So we're going to do this again, and I'm going to show you the tonic and dominant chord changes for this song. So go ahead and hold up one finger for tonic and five fingers for dominant. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. Bum, ba, bum, ba, ba. Now we're going to go ahead and sing those chord changes on La and C. Bum, ba, bum, sing with me. La, 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 C. La, la, C, la. Let's sing that again. And I will go ahead and sit. Sing with me. La, 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 la. I'm going to play a piece called Gliding. This is from later on in your book. I'd like for you to move to the macro beats and micro beats and try to figure out what the meter is of this song. Does it move in two like duple meter or <laughs> move in three like triple meter, not five? is in triple meter. Do da -de, do da -de, do da -de, do. This time would you go ahead and move like you're gliding like a bird. some triple meter rhythm patterns and then we'll come to the keyboard together. Go ahead and move with me please. You can move just like I'm moving. I show the macro beats and the micro beats. If you're having trouble with this you can move just to the macro beats like we did before. If I were over here and I weren't next to the keyboard, I could move with a lot more freedom of movement in my arms. I'm just afraid I'm going to hit the fall board over here with my hands. All right, so go ahead and move to triple meter and echo me, please. Do, let's see. Oh, I wrote myself a note that was totally unhelpful. So I'll do things differently than my note. Here we go. Do da da de, do da da de, do da de, do. Do da de, do da da de, do da de, do. Do da de, do da de, do da da de, do. Do da de do do da da de to do. For more patterns like this, you can listen to the pattern CD, and you can listen to triple meter, macro beats, micro beats, and divisions. So this is track eleven for ba, and that's as far as we've gotten for that. And no, that's correct. Starting 
today with this unit. You can also listen to track 15 on the pattern CD, and that will be those same division patterns but on rhythm syllables. So make sure this week, this is in your book, you'll see this in your book, but make sure you're listening to track 15 on the pattern CD this week. All right, come to the keyboard. We have a lot of wonderful things to practice today for our keyboard geography and technique. So first thing is we're going to look in your book here, look at the G major scale. We're going to review all of these things from our last unit. That's on page five. So go ahead and turn to page five if you need that for reference. Practice the scale in one hand. Make sure this is my left hand. Have all five fingers cross over to your middle finger on la. Finish the scale. If you want, you can come back. Middle finger, cross under to your thumb on so, and finish the scale. For your right hand, make sure you start with three fingers and then cross under on fa. Remember that your thumb can follow behind those fingers that are playing. Finish all five notes. Go all the way back down to your thumb. Cross over to your middle finger on me. And finish. So practice the G major scale this week. I hope you go ahead and do that right now. Just pause the video and play the G major scale. Remember now when G is do, E is la. Go ahead and play and sing with me. Do, la. If you didn't play that just now, go ahead and play that with me. Do, la. Now we're going to play the E minor arpeggio. This is la, do, mi. When E is la, you can find this in your book on page six. Make sure you practice that and let's sing the short and long version of the arpeggio. We're going to sing the short version. La, do, mi, do, la. And then let's sing the long version. La, do, mi, la, mi, do, la. And then make sure you also play the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. Let's go ahead. I'll, I'd like for you to sing with me while I play. La, do, mi, mi, si, mi, do, ti, si, la, do, la. Then you're also going to practice this week the G major arpeggio and melodic cadence. So that's do, mi, so in both hands. And we're going to do the short version to sing of the cadence. Let's go ahead and sing. And then make sure you also play the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence. So go ahead and mark, please, today's date on pages four, five, and six in your book so that you make sure that you're practicing those this week. So go ahead and do that. Take a moment now to practice those things if you didn't play them while I played them just now. And then also, if you look at the first page of unit three, which is page eight, over on the left side, which we're paying attention to now, where it says review G major, E minor, C major, and A minor tonic arpeggios. Go ahead and circle that, and we are just about to review C major and A minor. So let's go ahead and play the C major and A minor arpeggio and melodic cadence. So C, when C is Do, Let's go ahead and play the arpeggio. And we're going to sing the short and long versions for this one. Go ahead and sing with me. Do, mi, so, mi, do. And then the long version up to do. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. And then play 
play the tonic, dominant tonic, melodic cadence. And then let's do the same thing in A minor. We're going to play and sing. Do, la. That's pretty low to sing. If you can't sing that note, then go ahead and sing it up with me. Do, la. Let's go ahead and play while we sing that again. Do, la. And let's play the A minor tonic arpeggio. Let's sing the short version of that because we're going to sing up. La, la, do, me, do, la. And play the tonic dominant tonic melodic cadence for A minor. Both of those are in your book one. They, I don't remember what pages those are on, so let me know if you need help finding those pages. I know I moved through all of that quickly just now, so go ahead and pause the video now to practice those or you, uh, unless you played them while I was playing them. Then I'd like for you to play the F sharp major arpeggio. This is in your book one in unit 11, if you need to find that. So find F sharp, it's the black key that's in between F and G. And find Do, Mi, so when F sharp is low. play that arpeggio. Number two, it says play an F sharp major arpeggio. So go ahead and circle that as something that you're going to practice this week. And then we're going to try, last time we tried playing Do, So, Do, and Do, So, Do. Today we're going to do the same thing in minor. So we're going to play when A is La. Go ahead and find. La, mi. Take your time to find those. This is when A is La. And then we're going to go ahead and play. La, mi, la. Go ahead and play that. And then keep the same hand on La and cross over to play Mi on the other side of La. La, mi, la. Go ahead and play that. And then we're going to do the same thing when E is La. La, do, mi, do, la. Can you find? La, mi, la. When E is La. And then cross over to play La, Mi, La. And if you look on page eight in your book, that is also written in there. So that's something that we've worked on today. And last but not least, we have something new to do today for our keyboard geography. So turn in your book two to page 10. So we've done tonic, dominant, tonic, melodic cadences in several different chialities or on several different tonics, but we have not yet done tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. So this is like arpeggios plus cadences. So here's how this works. You have this wonderful picture here of the major and minor tonic dominant tonic arpeggios. So for major you have do, mi, so. And you're going to play that in the left hand and then in the right hand. So you'll play that in both hands. So right here where it says tonic major, it's do, mi, so, do, mi, so. Play that in both hands. For the dominant major, 
major. Santini. You move both hands over and play that in two hands. Santini, Santini. And then for the ending, you play that tonic major. Do, mi, so. And then you're just going to end on do in your right hand. So when you play all of that together, it sounds like this. Go ahead and try that when Do is C. Go ahead and try playing that. Play the tonic major arpeggio two times. So you play it in one hand, the other hand, and then again, just because we love our tonic major, and then we go to dominant major, tonic major ending on do. And then if you look up at the top of the page, it says when do is C, then la is A. Notice that the major tonic triad shares two tones with its relative minor tonic triad. Do, do, mi, so, la, do, mi. So go ahead and play with whichever hand. Do, mi, so, and then play la, do, mi, la, do, mi. So notice how do and mi are in the same place for both of those tonic triads. And now we're going to play our tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when la is A. So again, we're going to play our tonic minor. La, do, mi, la, do, mi. Or I could sing it up. La, do, mi, la, do, mi. And I do it again. I move to the dominant harmonic minor. And on the tonic minor. So go ahead and try playing those tonic dominant tonic arpeggios when la is A. We're going to keep coming back to these. This is a beautiful way to go back and forth between our tonic and dominant chords. So go ahead and mark today's date on that page and then turn back one page. I referenced something in the last video that I realized when I was talking this one that we had not discussed before. So I apologize if it was very confusing when I was talking about treble C and high C because we have not talked about those until now. So look at page nine. We label some of our C's on the piano with special names. So we have low C, bass C, it looks like bass, it's pronounced bass, middle C, treble C, and high C. So we're going to start by finding middle C on the piano. So if you notice, if you count your sets of two black keys from this side, we have one, two, three, four. And that fourth one is right where middle C is. One, two, three, four. There's middle C. That's if you have 88 keys on your keyboard, which I hope you do. And then from the other side, if you count one, two, three, four, that will still get you to middle C. One, two, three, four, middle C. So make sure you find, go ahead and find middle C on your piano by counting four sets of two black keys. And then from there, the middle, the C on either side is called bass C and treble C. So go ahead and find bass C and treble C. And then the sets of black, of C's that are on either side of that are bass, low C, and high C. You can also find bass C and treble C by counting three sets of two black keys. One, two, 
three is bass C. One, two, three is treble C. And if you count two sets of two black keys, one, two is low C. One, two is high C. If you look here on this page, it helps you to review all of that. It says find and name the following five areas of the keyboard. Play four sets of two black piano keys from either side. This is the middle C area. Three sets of two black piano keys from either side. This is either bass C or treble C. Two sets of two black piano keys from either side. This set is low C and high C. So look at every C in the picture. Learn to name the area of the keyboard. Play every C and listen to the sounds. And in general, this is the low area of the piano, bass area, middle area, treble area, and high area. It's just a general name that we have for those areas on the piano. Or names that we have for those general areas on the piano. All right, we're going to look at our exploration and creativity improvisation. So turn back another page to page eight. If you had your book open this way, you don't have to turn at all. We're going to look at the two exploration creativity improvisation projects right here on this page. So rhythm context triple meter project. I'm going to read through this and give you an example of this. And then I'd like for you to pause the video and try it. So establish meter and chant a four macro beat triple meter rhythm pattern using divisions. I'll do that. Play the rhythm pattern on one piano key. Improvise a short idea with the rhythm pattern. Use a soft fist to play black and white key clusters and then circle how your idea sounded. All right, so I can do do da dee do here I go. Do da da dee, do da da dee, do da dee, do. I think that was a grumpy idea. So I'd like for you to go ahead and pause the video here and do your own. And then we're going to look at the next project. This says Tonal Context C Major Project. So we're going to play every C on the keyboard. Let's go ahead and do that together. Find every C in any order. Now I'm going to demonstrate this next a little bit and then I'd like for you to do it. And then I'll demonstrate the rest of the ideas and I'd like for you to do those. So this second idea here says, chant a four macro beat duple meter rhythm pattern. Improvise with this pattern using tones from a C major triad. That's do, be, so. So I'm going to do that and then I'd like for you to do it. So do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, day, do, day to do. go ahead and do this please and then it says improvise different ideas use tones from a C major triad here are some ideas repeat a tone play two tone tonal patterns repeat two tone tonal patterns and play in different areas of the keyboard so I'm going to give you an example of each of those things so you can hear what that would sound like so here's a rhythm pattern. Do, day, do, ready, chant. Do, do, day, do, day, do. So now I'm going to do the first one. Repeat a tone. Do, do, oops. Do, do, day, do, day, do. And just play one note. Second idea. Play two tone tonal patterns. So I could do. One for part of the time and then the other one for a part of the time. So that tonal pattern was do me or do me 
I could do do so that's also do so 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 that's all number two play two tone tonal patterns number three repeat two-tone tonal pattern. So I get through that tonal pattern twice. Do, me, do, me. Here I go. One. Do, me, do, me. How about if I do do, so, do, so. Suddenly got to that last do so at the end. How about if I do me do? So that's repeating a two tone tonal pattern. And then this is playing in different areas of the keyboard. You could combine this with any of those others. I'm going to combine this with repeat two tone tonal patterns. two different places. I could do still that same tonal pattern. So see what you can come up with with this. This gives you a lot of different ideas for how to play a C major triad and gets you out of just doing always doing do me so it forces you to be a little more creative, which is always necessary for me. I'm an in, I tend to be an in-the-box thinker, and so if I don't have good directions, I tend to just think of things one way and not try them any other way. So it's good to have ideas. All right, there are a couple other things. If we look over on the left side of the page, exploration, creativity, improvisation, there are two other ideas. I'm going to demonstrate this first one, and then I'd like for you to pause the video and do it. So number one, chant a four macro beat triple meter division rhythm pattern. Again, play the pattern on one piano key, then create something with the rhythm pattern. I'm kind of focused today on this do got to D. I'm trying to incorporate that into my rhythm patterns. So here I go. Do da di do ready chant. Do da da di do da di do da da di do. Do da da di do da di do da da di do. So go ahead and do this project yourself. You can use my rhythm pattern or come up with your own and pause. And then we're going to improvise in triple meter, so doing more stuff in triple meter. Use tones from a C major triad. Oh, I just did that. I should have done something else for my other one, so I'll have to make this one sound different. I'm going to use a different rhythm pattern that also uses do da da di. I'm thinking about that pattern today. So do da di do, here I go. Do da di do da da di do da di do. do, da di do. So go ahead and pause the video and try that. And then we have one more thing every unit. There's a neat rhythm pattern that I'll give you to improvise with. So here is our fun rhythm pattern of the week. I'm going to chant it. I'd like for you to play it on one key and then improvise using two hands and black keys. Any black keys that you want, make sure you use two hands. And then answer yourself with any four macro beat rhythm pattern. Got it? So play it on one key. Yeah, yeah, perhaps chant it first. Chant. Play on one key, improvise using two hands and black keys, and then answer the idea with any four macro beat pattern. Okay, got it? 
Here we go. Do da di do, echo me please. Do ta da di, do ta da di, do ta da ta di ta do. Do ta da di, do ta da di, do ta da ta di ta do. One key. Do ta da di, do ta da di, do ta da ta da ta do. Black keys. Da ta di, do da ta di, do ta da ta di ta do. Answer. And we're going to go to review. All right, so we're going to review Ring Around the Rosie and Stepping Stones. So Ring Around the Rosie was in unit one. So we're gonna turn all the way back to page two. So for this one, this week, we're going to look at the accompaniment and also trying to put his hands together. You may have done this before. If so, this is just a quick review. So the melody in G major. The accompaniment does this really neat intro. It goes do today, do today. sets of two black keys. One, two, three. There's bass C. And then if you move higher, move this way, this way, that's our do that we need for this song. All right, so go ahead and try playing this with me. I'll play just the accompaniment with you. Do day do ready play do today do today do day do together with the melody. If you can get that first bit, and I would do that. Sometimes I would chant, and sometimes I would chant, to help you hear those two parts. Try that little bit. The rest of the song should be less challenging because they're all moving on due days. Due day, due day, due. So try the beginning. When the beginning is comfortable, try the end. That's Ring Around the Rosie. Make sure you mark today's date on accompaniment and hands together. And then we're going to turn forward in the book to Stepping Stones on page seven. This is our song from unit two. Just, we're going to start by reviewing the solo. This solo was somewhat more complex than some of the others that we've done. This is higher in the keyboard. So my do, F sharp is do. The do is in between treble C and high C. So to find this, if I count my sets of two black keys, one, 
two, there's high C, and then move farther to F sharp. That's my do. Go ahead and find your spot here, and then I'll go ahead and play this song. Do, day, do, here I go. So the first half of the piece is do, re, so, do, re, so. And then it does that same thing with that little repeat. Do, re, so, so, do, re, so. So let's play the first half of the piece together. Do, de, do, play with me. Do, re, so, do, re, so. Do, re, so, so, do, re, so. Then the second half, this hand stays right where you just finished, right where you left off, and it goes so do, and then your hands are gonna move over. Go ahead and just try that if you're having trouble with this section. add the rhythm to it. So, so, do, mi, mi, so, do, do, mi, so, do. So that ending is pretty quick. So go ahead and try that just one note at a time if you need to, and then go ahead and play it with me. So pause this for as much as you need to, and then play with me. play the whole song with me while I play the accompaniment, the duet. Do, de, do, ready, play. I do want to show you this duet part. So this duet part is not in your book anywhere, but it's just using do, so, do, so, do. It plays do, de, do, do, de, do. And this is where you had your do to play the song move two octaves away. So find another F sharp and then another F sharp. And that's the octave where you are. And then after that intro, do, so, do, do, so, do, it just goes do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day, all the way through the song. page that's just for fun because it's an enjoyable duet part that's pretty quick to learn and then I'd like for you to try this in two new chialities. So to play this in a new chiality we're going to start with F. So we're going to change our tonic from F sharp to F. So go ahead and find that same area of the keyboard where you were playing the melody and then move to F from F sharp to F. And see if you can find do and then find so below do. Now you already have the beginning of the song. Find 
also above. So see if you can find that. Go ahead and pause the video and try that. And then leave this hand right where it is. And we're gonna find our tonic triad. And then and try that. Now, if that was comfortable for you, if you didn't have too much trouble with that, try it then in C. When C is Do, so we're going to move to Do, Re, so, find a C, Do, Re, and then find So below, Do, Re, So, find that So above, then we can play the beginning. Go ahead and try that and pause. And then for the ending, so, do, do, re, so, do, re, so, do. That gets you the end of the song. So if you can, go ahead and pause and try this in F major and also in C major. If you're just having a little trouble with this, then we can look at this in the group class check-in. If that is totally too difficult to try at this moment, then we'll come back to it later in a review time. Then we're going to look back at book one. So set book two aside. We have a little bit of unit review to do in book one. I want you to look, I know I said last unit that we were done with unit 13 in your book on page 37, but I'd love for you just to review the F major tonic arpeggio. Just and if you can go ahead and play it that fast right now, you are done. So if that tip takes a little bit more time than that, you can play it while I'm talking now. That's totally fine. F major tonic arpeggio. If that takes more time, if that's not super easy, you can't just sit down and play the F major tonic arpeggio, please practice that this week. In either case, go ahead and mark down unit 13 with the sticker if you have not already done that. And then turn to page 39. We're going to look at rolling hills. So Rolling Hills, it's been somewhat, some time since we've looked at this. Take your time, find your spot on the keyboard. This song is in triple meter, so we think do da di do, do da di do. It's in major tonality, and do is F. So we can play do. In fact, you know what we can play to get ourselves ready for this? The F major tonic arpeggio. So let's play the F major tonic arpeggio. Ha ha ha! Wonderful way to practice. And then we're going to start on me. Do, me. Check out the hands and fingers that you're going to be using and take a look. Do, da, di, do, here I go. If you're hearing that and saying, oh yeah, I can play it, just go for it. Go ahead and play. If you need a little bit of guidance, happens in this hand and then in the other hand. So go ahead and play mi, re, do in both hands. And then we go backwards. Do, re, mi. And then circle back to your middle finger on the right. Let's play that first phrase. Do, da, di, do, ready, play. The second phrase starts out the same way. Mi, re, do, mi, re, do. And then ends in this hand with. Re, 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 do. So 
go ahead and play that whole melody while I play the duet part. Do me, Dottie, do. Ready, play. to play loudly and softly. So if you were doing videos for book one, we had looked at the solo and performative duet. We did connected and separated style. So if you have not already done loudly and softly, go ahead and mark loudly and softly for this week. Remember, release a lot of energy from your upper arm. Let go of that into very energetic fingertips. softly you feel like all of that has floated away you're very gently dropping into fingertips that have just a little bit of energy to play softly so mark both of those with today's date and then we're going to do the rhythm pattern I won't take you all the way through it but we'll just chant the rhythm pattern so go ahead and hold up fingers one, two, three, and four for the patterns while you chant this with me. Do da di do, ready, chant. Do da di do da di do da di do. Do da di do da di do da di do. The rhythm patterns are chant with me. Do da di do da di do da di do. Do da di do da di do da di do. So go ahead and chant that, play it on one key, and then create something new with that rhythm pattern this week. Mark down all three of those with today's date. Make sure you practice that. You can pause the video right now and go ahead and do that. And then last thing for today, we're going to look at our song to play for unit three, which is Frère Jacques. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. I'm sure you know this song in your ears. So we're going to pull it apart a little bit. And it's going to sound a little different than you're used to hearing it because you're not going to play the whole melody. So I'm going to play, move to macro beats, figure out if your micro beats are in two, like duple meter, or in three, like triple meter. Chant with me, please. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Day, do day, do day, do day. Do day, do day, do day. Do day, do day. Do day, do day, do day, do day, do day. Is this in major or minor tonality? This is in major tonality. Can you audit the resting tone? This song has four little parts or four patterns. Go ahead and echo these patterns after I play the part of the piece where the pattern happens. So I'm going to play and then you chant. Do, day, do, here I go. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. Those rhythm patterns, not in your melody, but those rhythm patterns, division patterns? No, those are all macro beat, micro beat patterns. The melody does have some divisions, but we're not going to play that part of the melody this time through. All right, so here are some tonal patterns from the song. Do, so, mi, do, ti, do, do, re, mi. Do, re, mi, mi, do, mi, do, do, so, do, do, so, do. We're going to find 
find these tonal patterns in the song. I'm going to play just the very beginning and see if you can find do, re, do, re, mi. Ba, 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 here I go. So right away at the beginning, do, re, mi, bum, do, re, mi, bum. Now can you find mi, do, two functions. It was the end of do, re, mi, and then it was also the first part of mi, do. So it was doing both things. Now listen for do, so, do. I'm going to play the whole thing. Bum, 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 here I go. at the end there. Do, so, do, do, so, do. So go ahead and come to the keyboard if you're not already here and open up book two to Frère Jacques, which is page 11 in your book. Read the music information box. We're in duple meter, major tonality. Do is F sharp and the melody starts on Do. So can you please find this spot on the piano. Your do that you're going to use for this piece is in between mid treble C and high C. So if you count one, two sets of two black piano keys and then move to your next F sharp, that's where your do is for this piece. So sit in a comfortable position to play that. And then we're going to play the F sharp major arpeggio to get ourselves ready for this piece. Go ahead and play that with me. play that because we reviewed that earlier in this video. Let's go ahead and play and sing the tonal patterns from the song. Notice that this hand is going to have do, re, mi. So our first pattern is do, re, mi. Go ahead and play that. Our next pattern is mi, do. Play that. And then do and so, so is going to be in this finger. Do, so. So we're going to play. Do, so, do. All right, so we're going to play the first little bit of the song, just do, re, mi, do. Go ahead and play that. Then can you play that two times in a row? Now we're going to play it while chanting. Do, day, do, ready, play. Do day, do day, do day, do day. Now the middle part is going to be do and me at the same time. And we're going to play those on do, 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 do. Go ahead and play those with me while we sing the melody. Do day, do, ready, play. Bum, bum, bum. Do that we're going to play this part very gently because it would just cover up the melody and then at the ending we play do so do do so do with do day do do day do let's go ahead and play the whole piece do day do ready play with you while we do that again. Do, day, do, ready, play. We're going to 
do one other thing with this song. We're going to take the beginning and end of the song and move it to G major. So go ahead and move this finger to G. Can you find our first two tonal patterns? Do, re, mi, and mi, do. Let's find that first one. Do, re, mi, and then mi, do. And then can you find do, so, do. So let's go ahead and play the beginning. Play the ending. Ready, play. Do, so, do, do, so, do. And then let's play it in C major. So same finger that we're going to move to C. Can you find with me? Do, re, mi, and mi, do. Do, re, mi, and mi, do. And then do, so, do. Play that beginning. Do day do ready play. Do day do day and then the ending ready play. Do day do do day do. Make sure you mark down today the solo and performed with duet for this song, and then. We finished Unit 13 review kind of last time and kind of this time. We did some review in Unit 14. Make sure you work on that this week. Make sure all the pages that we marked it today or in whatever days you were watching this that you're practicing those. Make sure that you check items when you practice them at home so you have a whole bunch of check marks over on the home side. Listen regularly to the recordings for this book and echo the patterns. Listen also to the pattern CD. Remember we have a new track for this week, track 15. So make sure you're listening to that. Make sure you improvise and create every day. Always be creating something new. You can use all the things that are in here and you can also come up with your own ideas. Make sure you chant rhythm patterns when you play. And look at the first page of Unit 3 over on the Lesson Time Objectives to remember the assignments that you have for this week. Thank you very much for joining me for Music Moves for Piano Book 2, Unit 3. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye.